James Wanda, thank you for joining me today. This is Flora Springs. This is called Soliloquy. It's a white wine from Napa Valley, 2021 vintage. Stay tuned. And I'll give you my thoughts, perspectives, and point score on this wine. So be sure to give a like and subscribe to this channel. You'll see the latest videos that I'm producing. This is a wine you might be familiar with, Highway 29, Napa Valley, and it's a very nice place to visit. I visited several times. I enjoy every visit. It's a probably nice staff and uh, equally nice, superb wines. Now, this is a wine that is uh, one of their flagship wines in terms of, I wouldn't say it's a tête de cuvée. So tête de cuvée, I always say that it's the top of the line. This is more of the wine you're gonna find much more abundant in the marketplace. And so here's a front label. I'll tell you about the name itself, Soliloquy. And here's a back label. I did a review of the 2020 vintage and it's rare. I definitely taste this wine. Um, uh, I wouldn't say often, but I taste it uh, pretty regularly and I don't taste it every single year. So to do two reviews is that I had access to two different vintages and I wanted to do two different videos. I love the bottle itself. I mean, this is a really cool texture. What I do with bottles like this is I keep them and I use them as a water bottle because I think they're so unique and different. And to try to reuse what I do get because I do get a lot of wine bottles. Now, Soliloquy refers to the name of the clone, the Sauvignon Blanc, that is certified by UC Davis. That's a really unique distinction. There are definitely other producers that have their own clone attributed to their name, such as Wente. But Wente clone, for example, is widely distributed Chardonnay. And as far as I know, that Soliloquy clone is only available and only used at Flora Spring. Now this is a wine that contains 73% Sauvignon Blanc, 12% Chardonnay, 15% Malvasia. This is 605 cases produced, seven months in French oak, $60 suggested retail price point, and a 14.2% ABV. It is a harmonious wine and one where when I'm smelling the wine, definitely do this in a burgundy glass first of all. Now what I enjoy about this wine is not so Sauvignon Blanc um, dominant and it's a nice pleasant Sauvignon Blanc. Some people, including myself, I definitely have a, a vast spectrum of Sauvignon Blancs that I do enjoy, but this is one where I think it's harmonious and beautiful because the Chardonnay adds some weight and you get a little bit of spice dash floral note from the Malvasia grape, which is not a lot. This is mainly a Sauvignon Blanc wine, but because of the percentage point, it would have to be referred to back to Soliloquy, which is fine. Um, I think this is what uh, is a, obviously a long-standing tradition at Flora Springs and one that they do a nice job of and come to the marketplace with a unique wine that can only be found here. Now, if I was smelling the wine, I would definitely get that, but I would say that it's not so uh, recognizable as 100% Sauvignon Blanc. I would guess other varieties, but Chardonnay and Malvasia, I would never think of these two wine grapes in this uh, wine itself. If I was blind tasting, I didn't know that already. Uh, but since I do, I'm familiar with this wine, I know that that's the constituent uh, percentage points. Now, they're gonna vary year by year. First about the nose on this wine. So I'm getting uh, on this lemon curd, uh, white peach notes, white nectarine, uh, floral notation, as well as moist and mineral. Next is the palate characterization. So on this, I'm getting uh, yellow stone fruit, which is uh, when I compare that to the nose, white uh, to yellow stone fruit is interesting in those differences, but also a bit of uh, dried lemon peel, oyster shell, and a floral notation, a bit of almond as well, which uh, in my opinion, I attribute to the Malvasia in addition to that floral notation. This wine is 93 points out of 100 points. It's a $60 retail price point, suggested retail price point, seek it out. If you don't find it in your marketplace, it's your fine wine retailer, ask them to bring it in. So be sure to share this video with somebody who's interested in wines from Florida Springs and the Soliloquy. And uh, also be sure to subscribe to the channel again, and please give a like, and I appreciate your support. You'll find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, and WordPress. Thank you for watching. I will see you very soon in the next video review. Sante.